Jerome, lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me for a coffee with the editor here at the annual Rail Safety um, Regulators Conference. What is an OEM like TMH doing here? Thanks for having me. Uh, what an OEM uh, is doing here is pretty simple. I think we are part and parcel of the safety and security of the trains. And for us as a newcomer to South Africa, to the region, it's important to understand what are the challenges of the railway regulator, what are the challenges in terms of safety on the continent, and uh, how the technologies we have in the portfolio, within TMH or with our sister companies Clover and Locotech Signal, can be of help or use uh, in the local context. Fantastic. So, how is TMH? It's been a while since I last touched base with you. Um, how's the factory? How are things going? So, it started. <laughs> it's, it's no more a concept. It's an actual factory. Uh, we have some work going on, very much around the locomotives, uh, both in refurbishing and manufacturing of new. And uh, currently we're slowly ramping up, so at the end of the month of September, so yesterday, uh, we have concluded recruitment of another 40 people, another 20 are coming during October, and basically we will have grown uh, the, the, the employment base in the factory by 30% at the end of October. So it's not massive, but it's quite encouraging in an environment which is not as rosy as, uh, as this shows. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing well, we're doing, um, it's, it's difficult, it's a, it's a, str it's a complex environment, but uh, yeah, we are, we are developing and we're very happy with that. Um, the last time I spoke to you, you were talking about doing a lot of training and, and skills development. How's that program going? So this, this is kick-started. We, we still have to develop it further, but the, the concept we are working on is to try to digitalize a lot of our courses content to do two things. The first one is to ensure replicability because as humans we have a tendency to say things on Monday and say different things on Tuesday uh, and help our uh, newcomers uh, adapt quicker. The second target is that we can reuse these things across the group, so it's a, it's a huge amount of, of material which is available to everyone. And what we have noticed in recruiting the, the new people is that uh, a lot of the guys we are taking over uh, are, were unemployed before or were off job for some time. So what we are uh, doing is that we have created a small welding school which is available for the people. One week or two before they actually got tested. So they get trained on the job and they, have more, they are back to a, a better, I would say, level and their actual capacity level rather than just off the coach type of activity. And uh, the success rate so far has been around 75-80% in the two batches we've done instead of the usual 50 or below 50 we had in the previous years. So we think it's working and we will continue in that direction. Well, Jerome, lovely to see you and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Have a good day. Yes.